hi guys welcome to my channel guys today in this video i am going to build this complete responsive personal portfolio website by using simple html css and javascript and some bootstrap as well you will after building this website you are going to learn most of bootstrap and javascript and css so this is our personal portfolio website first of all we have this navbar this navbar you can get this navbar from the get bootstrap website and after this we have this home section we have a background image and while wow, there is our hello i am chris Toffer heading and after that the pro web designer and here we have two button with the hover effect and after this home section here we have our about section animated about section on the left side here we have this image with the box shadow and after that on the left side this is our about me heading and after that the web designer and after that we have this detail paragraph and in the end we have this progress bar that we design in our C in css in the last we have these two buttons download cv and contact us this animated section and after that we have our services section this is our animated services section we have six cards and inside these cards we have a circle and with the icons whenever we hover on this card the background color of the circle changed and the icon of the color will also change so this is our services section and after that we have our personal portfolio a portfolio section a filter portfolio section so this is our portfolio section and here we have some buttons and whenever we click on this uh, brand we it's filter all the brand images and after that whenever we click on this design it's uh, show us the design templates and after that whenever we click on this graphic it shows us the graphic uh, templates and whenever we click on the all button it shows us all the project so whenever we hover on this uh, images it shows us the box shadow and uh, the plus icon as well so whenever we click on this so it shows us the complete uh, picture that we have and I use the bootstrap model for this it is very simple you can create uh, in some simple step and after that we have this uh, blog section our blog animated blog section so the next thing uh, the, the next section that we have is our blog section first of all our main heading and after that we have three section here we have the link from where you can click and read more so all the three uh, uh, cards are same we have images in, in this side inside these cards okay and after that we have our contact us section first of all here we have three circles within uh, with an icon having an icon after that the address the email and and after that here we have our uh, form the input section for the name and email and after that we have a text area and after that we have one submit button whenever we hover on this button it changes background color and create a border and in the last we have this footer section the copyright section right here in the last so so here we have all the images and one HTML file and CSS file and if you are not subscribed to uh, if you are and if you are not subscribed to my channel then please subscribe to my channel for all the awesome videos so okay guys starting with the bootstrap first of all we have to copy the started template of bootstrap from this get bootstrap website and paste it in your html file right here this is our html file and this is our css file first of all i am taking our universal tags padding 0 margin 0 and box sizing is border box now let me link this uh, css file in our html file And now this is our project first of all we have to uh, design this navbar or this navbar with this logo and this uh, nav links for that i am going uh, to the get bootstrap website click on components and from here click on navbar from here you can uh, get any type of navbar for your project i am copying this one and paste in right here first of all remove the unwanted classes 
the nav bar will be fixed on top right here I am taking one container after the nav and closing before the nav tag And now just uh, change this navbar brand logo the font weight will be bold for this logo and now from this navbar nav uh, I'm removing this unwanted classes and properties Now if you see the output here you can see the output and now we want this march uh, nav links on the right side so here you can see this nav links on the right side and now let me add some padding uh, left and right for in every nav link So now if you see the output, so here you can see this output, but we want to design this in like this. And now let me design this navbar in our CSS. The background color will be white. And then now we are going to design the nav links. Color will be black. and the font size will be 1 rem and the font height will be 700 and the cursor will be pointer and text decoration is none but whenever we have on this it's create the background color the background the black background whatever we have on this nav link the color will be white and the background will be black so now if you see the output so here you can see this output but we have to add some border radius as well like this For that I am using one class of bootstrap rounded to add some border radius. So now if you see the output, so here you can see this output. And now I am uh, designing this logo in our CSS. First of all, the font size will be 1.3, rem and the font rate will be 700, 800 and the color will be black. The cursor will be pointer and the text decoration will be none. So here you can see our logo and this nav links. And after that we are going to design this main section with this image and this uh, headings and with two button for that uh, I am going to take one section main section section with the class of main and after that container and one row and in this row I am taking uh, columns for the headings and the button that will be six columns first of all the heading h3 hello I am and after that one 
taking uh, Christopher the name and after that uh, next heading the H6 heading pro web designer and after that I am going to uh, build this buttons the class of bt1 because we want to uh, design this bt1 in our css that's why i'm taking the bt1 class and the m2 mt5 is a margin top 5 and the value will be the button or value of button this is our btn2 bt2 and now we have to design this in our css uh, because before that uh, we have to add some padding top and bottom in this container and this section and after that in this row this is our padding top and bottom 5 and now we are going to design this main section in our CSS First of all the main class the background will be uh, the background URL the image that we are going to use right here with no repetition and the background size will be cover and after that the width will be 100% and the height will be 100 VH so here you can see this background uh, image and this paragraph and but the nav links and the nav bar is in, there is no background color for this nav bar so we have to remove and now this is our margin uh, main heading 3 the font size will be 4.4 rm and the font weight will be 700 now if you see the output so here you can see the output but we have to design these buttons and one heading at 6 before that we have to remove this fixed top property right here you can see our nav links with the nav, nav with the white background So this is our output and now we are going to design our buttons and this heading at 6 the main, main section heading 6 the font size will be 1.4 rm and the text transform will be uppercase And now I am going to add the border bottom that will be 3 pixels solid and we are going to use uh, the color that we use for the button that will be RGB the red will be 2 33 and 20 and then 2109 so this is the color for this uh, border for the, for the high of the heading 6 and now let me minimize the width of this border with 40% so here you can see this heading with the border and now we are going to design our buttons this bt1 and bt2 main section class bt1 height will be 55 pixel and the width will be 138 pixel and the background color will be uh, the previous color this color that we use for the border of heading and the color will be white 
the outline will be done, the border will be done. And after that, I am going to add some font to it for that will be bold and the border radius for this button. So here you can see we designed this first button and now we are going to design our second button that will be B22 We are going to change the color and the background color of this button and also adding some border so here you can see we designed the second button but we uh, here we are going to add the hover effect on this BT1 and B button 2 whenever we hover on this BT1 the background color changes so here you can see whenever we hover on this button and uh, the background color will be changed in 0.5 second we are going to use the transition property for that and next we are going to add some hover effect on BT2 let's change the color of the taxis and the background color so here whenever we hover on this button it changes background color and the text color as well so now let me add some margin right 3 with this button and uh, for the heading 6 we are going to add some padding top 3. So here you can see this is our main section that we designed very beautifully and if you have any question regarding this uh, video you can ask me in the comment section I will help you and also if you want the source code for this project I will also provide you the source code. Thanks for watching this video and if you are not subscribed then please subscribe to my channel as well.